What is good everybody, it is Coach Melchor and welcome back to the Go High Level Masterclass. If you watched my previous video on how to build funnels, then you learn how to build automated systems that turn complete strangers into paying customers. Today we're covering the other half of the equation. Professional websites that establish credibility, showcase trust, and turn visitors into leads. Before we dive in, let me tell you why mastering websites with Go High Level has completely changed my life. When I first started my marketing agency, I was building websites on Wix, WordPress, Shopify, all these other platforms, and I was only confident selling these for a few hundred dollars. I was competing with every other freelancer on Fiverr, Upwork, struggling just to justify my pricing. And honestly, my first few websites were pretty amateur. Then I discovered the Go High Level website builder, and that's when everything shifted. Suddenly I could build professional, mobile optimized websites in only a few hours rather than days. But most importantly, I could integrate the website with complete marketing systems. I went from just getting away with a $500 or even a $1,000 setup fee for the website, 99 per month just to host it. That's cool, that's great. But having the website built on Go High Level gives you so much potential and power to upsell that client and charge three to five times more for the marketing systems that go behind the website. If you wanna learn exactly how I was able to scale past 10 to 15K per month with my web design and marketing agency, then there's a link down below for people who are serious about learning and potentially wanna get one-on-one -on -one mentorship from myself. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. So let's first break down why we use Go High Level versus all the other AI website builders, Shopify, Wix, Reloom, GoDaddy, all these other platforms. Why do we use Go High Level? So let's break down our website funnel if we are using Go High Level. So, so let's break down the Go High Level funnel, right? So obviously the top of the funnel would be the website that we built onto Go High Level, but obviously a website is just a website. How are we gonna turn these visitors into paying customers? So first, obviously the lead capture, right? We need forms, we need surveys, we need buttons, a way for these leads, a way for these visitors to fill out their information to get contacted. Obviously, Go High Level checks off for that because Go High Level has forms and surveys, everything you need to capture leads already integrated into the platform. So boom, we capture the lead. What's next? We need an automated follow-up, something that's gonna immediately text the lead, immediately call the lead as soon as they fill out their information, just so we can convert them a lot faster. Once again, Go High Level checks off for the automated AI follow-ups, SMS, email, phone calls. As soon as someone comes in, they're already getting contacted. You do not need to go for a third-party software. This is already built into Go High Level. But obviously, to book appointments, you need a calendar software. And once again, Go High Level checks off for this. Go High Level has it integrated into the software, so you do not need to go to Calendly. You do not need to get a third-party software. It's already built into Go High Level. Now, with the streamlined funnel that Go High Level has built in, we will be able to close more leads, turn the visitors into customers, which is the whole reason of having a website. Now let's go ahead and break down what the funnel would look like if we use Shopify, GoDaddy, Weebly, Wix, any other platform. So cool, we have the website as the top of funnel, obviously to attract attention. Maybe it was built by AI, cool, whatever. First things first for the lead capture to actually get their information, we're gonna need a plugin because it's not built into most of these website builders. After that, when they opt in, who's gonna follow up? We need another AI software. Okay, we get a form plugin. Now we need something to follow up and immediately text these leads. Well, guess what? We're gonna need to get another third-party plugin, another software cost. And guys, most of these builders, once again, do not have calendars already integrated in. So guess what? To book people onto calendars, onto appointments, we need to go ahead and pay for another third-party subscription, another plugin. So it's just a no-brainer on why you should use Go High Level to start your marketing agency or even to build Build any sort of website. Um, it's just gonna save you a lot more money. It's gonna make you more profitable as an agency owner. So you can sell Go High Level as a complete marketing package. You only pay one monthly subscription instead of trying to manage all these other subscriptions for your clients. So that's why I use Go High Level. Let's go ahead and dive into how to start with a website. So you're gonna have two options from blank or from templates. Now I do not recommend starting from blank. You're gonna be completely lost and you're just gonna waste more time. Now Go High Level does have integrated templates. The website templates are a bit outdated. Me personally, I do not like them, but if you wanna get started just to practice, then by all means get started with the Go High Level templates. Now something I offer to my Go High Level affiliate members, anyone who uses my free trial to sign up for Go High Level, I will import all of my website templates that I built throughout the years directly imported into your account. Now these are 20 plus high converting 
modern website templates that you can start from and will save you a lot of time. And guys, these are websites that I've sold anywhere from $500 to $1,000 just for the setup fee. If you wanna get started with my custom website templates, then just use my two week free trial to go high level so I can import them directly into your accounts. So let's just say we picked a website template, the landscaper template, and we open it up and this is what we're gonna see, right? We're gonna have all the different pages that goes behind a website, right? About us, our projects, contact us, services, the homepage, all the pages right here. For example, the website maybe is Melcher's Landscaping. This page would be melcherslandscaping.com dash about us. So everything's hosted under one domain, but you still have individual pages. Now let's go ahead and talk about what pages you need to include for a service-based business website. These are the page types that you need to have on your website, your client's website for the best results, the best Google rankings, and the most conversions. So here's one of my clients, Durate Landscape. Now I'm gonna break down exactly what pages I built out for him and how I structured his website. First things first is obviously the home page. This is like a general walkthrough, a general guide for new customers to look at, to learn everything about the business and to go to different pages from the home page. Next would be our services page. This is where you give a general explanation on all the services that this business has to offer. But don't forget, you need to build individual pages for each service. This is very, very important. If customers want to know more, or they're only interested, let's say in landscape design, or they're only interested in gravel installation, there's a complete page for each one, just in case they want to learn more about a specific type of service. And having individual service pages is also very, very important for SEO purposes, which we'll go into in another video. Next, we have the gallery page. Now this is very, very important for you to showcase the company's past work, right? Show some credibility show some experience. Okay, a customer is looking at this. Now they say, wow, this company can actually do some good work. I like the past projects they've done. Let me go ahead and contact them. Next would be the contact us page. Now this is where they can go. They can click a button to call. They can fill out a form. They can get the email address, locations, everything they need to contact the business. Next would be the about us page. Now this is where the owner and the company can connect with potential customers, connect with the visitors that never heard of their business, right? Maybe they've been in business for 30 years. Maybe it's a family owned business and they want to share their story. So this is exactly where you would do, do so to build that connection with new customers. Now the homepage of the website is the most important part of the website. So I'm going to explain what makes a strong home page. The first one is obviously visually appealing, right? Does the website look like it was built in 2010 or is it a nice, modern, clean, there's no different colors. Everything flows very, very smoothly. The text is all the same color. The text is all the same size. Everything's very congruent. The website just flows. It looks very professional. It looks like a piece of art. I'm not gonna tell you that you need the most sexy, the most beautiful website to convert visitors into customers, but it does help having at least a decently appealing website. And most importantly, just making sure everything as far as the design is consistent, the layout is consistent, and everything is very much flowing. Now, next part of the website would be trust factors, right? So you're showing pictures of your work. Maybe you, you have your reviews. Maybe you have a portfolio, your locations, testimonials. Google reviews is also a big thing for websites. So just ways that people can know, okay, they're actually a professional company. They actually have reviews. They actually do work in my city. They actually know what they're talking about and I can trust them with my next project, with my next service. Next, which is also another very, very important feature is multiple call to actions. You need to have forms throughout the entire website. You need to have buttons that say request an appointment, request an estimate, get a quote, call us now. You need to have multiple buttons across the entire website, forms and buttons, so you can convert these visitors into leads, right? If you don't have any call to actions, no one's gonna turn into paying customers, no one's gonna convert into a lead. And then your customer and then your client's gonna be like, hey, my website isn't doing anything. My website is just sitting here, not bringing me any business, any work. That's why you need to have multiple strong call to actions. I get a quote, fill out this form and we'll be right with you. Click this button to give us a call. You need to have multiple throughout the entire page. So as they're scrolling and looking at the page, okay, a form right here, a button right here, a phone number right here, 
is always something to capture them as a lead. And this is gonna increase your conversion rate. This is gonna make your clients happy because more people are opting in. And lastly, guys, the website homepage just needs to be helpful, right? Have good information, have good copywriting. Put the city that they work in, put the locations that they work in. Be helpful to potential visitors that have never heard about this business. Have all these services, have all the locations, have the next steps. How do we get started? What do we do next, right? Have all the instructions, have a general understanding of the business and services all in the homepage so it's actually helpful. Okay, Diego, I built my website. Now, where exactly do I link it? Now, some of the more old school methods of linking your website would be obviously on a company truck. You maybe have a QR code. Maybe you have a yard signs, business cards with the URL and then the QR code. Now, obviously, these are all still important and you should definitely still do these, but obviously these are old, outdated methods and I focus on digital marketing. Now guys, this whole YouTube channel is about digital marketing. So I'm gonna tell you the best places to digitally market your website. Now first is gonna be the Google My Business profile. This is basically the business on Google Maps. Very, very important because when someone types in, for example, on Google, plumbing near me, the Google profile is what shows first. So this is the best, one of the best places you can put a website. You're gonna get a lot of traffic organically and you're gonna two to three X, even five X your website traffic. As potential customers are looking at which company to go with, it's important to have the website right here so they can compare, they can see who has the best deals, who has the best customer service, and the website is going to get a lot of clicks from the Google business profile. And obviously the new day and age, everybody is on social media. So obviously the link in bio is one of the most important places to put your website as well. Next guys, most importantly is going to be business social media pages or the link in bio method. So if you have an Instagram business profile, if you have a Facebook page, if you have a TikTok, a Snapchat, a WhatsApp business profile, you can put your website in all of these platforms. So lastly would be the social media business pages, the link in bio method. This is very important that you have the website in the business Instagram, business Facebook, business WhatsApp, the YouTube, the TikTok, wherever you're sharing your business, it needs to be the link in bio, right? So people can message you, but they can also click that link in bio, go to your website, learn more, maybe fill out a form, maybe call you from there. It's very, very important. It's one of the best call to actions to have on a business social media profile. It's good to have followers, it's good to get likes, but if you don't have a website in the link in bio, then most of those viewers and visitors are not gonna convert into customers. If you may or may not know, I preach wham, websites, ads, automations, and marketing. So not only do I do the websites for these companies and for these businesses, I do their ads, their automations, and they're just complete marketing online. Selling websites is one of the best ways to get your foot in the door with a potential client because it's a low ticket entry, right? You sell the website and then they pay you 97 a month or even 99 a month. Or if it's a lower ticket client, maybe it's just hosting for the website, you can charge 47 a month. I do all of the above, just depending on the client, depending on how much maintenance the client's gonna need on the website, depending on how much features they want behind the website as well. For me guys, this monthly recurring revenue is a no brainer. I love stacking these 99s. I love stacking these 47s. It's easy, they're quick pops. And for me, selling websites now is just an entry level to get the client, right? You sell them the website, build that connection. And from there, that's when you upsell them on the rest of Wham. You upsell them on ads, you have some on the automations that I was showing you guys, then you have some on the complete marketing package. So definitely learn how to build websites. That's the entry level. That's the best way to get started with Go High Level, the best way to get started in the digital marketing space. Sell that website for 500, sell that website for a thousand, then charge monthly guys. That monthly reoccurring money hits every single day. It's amazing, nothing beats it. For example, if you sell 30 websites, right? You get the setup fee, that's great. That's a lot of cash up front but also you're getting that monthly payment. So that's 3K for 30 websites and you're not doing anything but hosting it on your Go High Level platform. Now I can't explain everything in this YouTube video, but if you wanna learn how I went from zero to over 30 clients with my web design agency and also upsold those clients on ads, automations, and marketing packages, I have a completely free Wham mini course that shows you exactly how I started my agency and exactly how you can get started as well. That's gonna be the first link in the description. And the next link in the description is gonna be my Go High Level 14 day free trial. Go ahead and sign up with this. Once you sign up, it's very important you comment on this video and shoot me a DM so I can check your email, make sure you're on the list so I can then send you 
all of my website templates so you don't have to start from scratch and you can get started and start making money selling websites as soon as humanly possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. This is my Instagram. Go ahead and shoot me a follow, shoot me a DM, and connect with me, guys. I'm a young entrepreneur growing my multiple businesses and also helping students do the same. So if you want daily tips on marketing websites, ads, shoot me a follow. There's a lot of great content on there. And also just shoot me a comment on this video, guys. I try to get back to all the real comments that are genuinely asking me a question. Without further ado, I'll see you on the next Go High Level tutorial.